Hundreds of cyclists took off from Heritage Park in Simpsonville this morning. They're going to go 252 miles across South Carolina. Our Ben Hoover was there for the start for this Alzheimer's Ride to Remember. After some spinning and selfies, it's time to start. Three days is fun. There's a lot of camaraderie. Yeah. So you're riding together with people you never met before. By the end, you, you're like family. Scott Rourke remembers 10 years ago when there was far less hustle and bustle to the pre-ride activities at the first Alzheimer's Ride to Remember. We actually ended up with about with 22 who rode the whole thing. Um, so we were thrilled. We raised $22,000. We kind of thought we might be in the red with that thing, but we weren't. So it's like, hey, this worked. Rourke started the ride for his mom and his dad who cared for her, a wife and mother who slowly slipped away before their eyes. We've lost her four years ago. She was sick for about 18 years. So it really hurt my heart. So I wanted to do something for her and I didn't, you know, I couldn't stroke a big check. And I said, you know what, I'll go out and ride a bike. Over the years, other riders joined Scott, many who know the pain all too well of caring for someone with Alzheimer's, others who have seen the pain through the eyes of friends. You know, they were devastated. The people who were, had this disease, they didn't, they didn't know who anyone were in their family or was in their family at the end. Lieutenant Lee Rains with Spartanburg Police is riding for a fellow officer's grandmother. She, she passed away earlier in the spring, uh, so this is Blanche Lindsay's who I'm riding for this year. And this not only affects officers, but it affects a lot of people. It's that effect that can be seen in the turnout for the ride's 10th year. 350 riders have raised well over $500,000, money that will be well spent. We realized we had to generate money. The federal, the federal government doesn't, doesn't support this nearly enough. It's really expensive for the caregivers, for the care for the patients, um, and the research. A ride for research across South Carolina. To be honest with you, once you get past the Midlands, it's all flat. It's all downhill there. <laughs> a ride that takes grit and endurance, something also required to tackle the grips of Alzheimer's. In Simpsonville, Ben Hoover, 7 News. Get these numbers. There are 89,000 people in this state with Alzheimer's, 309,000 caregivers. And if you've recently had a loved one diagnosed, there's a 24-hour hotline to get more help. We've listed the phone number on our website. It's in that big red box on WSPA.com.